In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dual value pi radar chart. Now in this chart, each section is showing us a height along with this, the percentage here. Now this chart is important if you want to measure two KPI for each and every category. Consider exercise. The current value is nine. If I simply change this to let's say 6.5, hit enter. Now you can see it's automatically adjust the height. But if I want to increase the width, simply change this to let's say 2, hit enter, it's automatically calculate the percentage here. Now how you can create this amazing chart in Excel, I'm going to show you each and everything in this video. Consider we have three column of data set. The first thing we need to create few helper column. Our first helper column are percent of 360 degree. Since every circle has 360 degree. Click on D2. Simply type equal, select the C2 cell, divide by, type some function, open parenthesis. Now click on C2 and drag the mouse down to select the entire sector weight column. Hit a 4 key to lock the reference, close parenthesis, hit enter. And this is how we calculate the fraction of each and every sector based on sector weight column. The next thing we need to calculate the start and finish angle for each and every sector. For the first sector, I am simply type 0 and for the finish angle, I will type equal 360 degree, multiply the result with some function open parenthesis, click on D2 and now if you simply type colon, you can see we get D2 to D2. In this case, I will click on the first D2. Simply type F4 key to log the reference, close parenthesis. Now this is the running sum. If I simply hit enter, double click to apply the formula on entire column. And now I'm going to click any of the formula. You can see we get a running total based on percent of 360 degree column. Now for the start angle on the second row, I'm going to type equal and simply select the first finish angle, hit enter and simply drag this formula till the end of data set. For the chart label for now, I'm going to type equal and simply select all of the category. Later, we will modify this label as well. Now we need to create a 360 grid. For the grid, I'm going to type a very easy sequence function first. Simply double click. How many rows? In this case, I want only one rows. How many column? 361 column, hit comma. And for the start value, I will use zero. And for the step, I'm going to type one, close parenthesis, hit enter. And this is how we generate from zero to 360 grid. Now in this grid, I'm going to type if and condition. Simply type if, open parenthesis and open parenthesis. Our first condition will be if the value in H1 cell. Now I'm going to increase the formula bar. Click on H1 cell. We need to log the row reference. Simply type F4 key one time, one more time. So this is how we log the row reference. If this value is greater than or equal to the start angle, we need to type F4 key because we want to log the column reference. Hit comma. Another condition will be Again, I'm going to click on H1, hit F4 key two times to log the row reference, less than equal to finish angle. Again, hit F4 key to log the column reference. Close parenthesis for end condition, hit comma. If the value is true, then I want to return the value from column B, hit F4 key to log the column reference. Otherwise, I want to get a zero value Close parenthesis for if condition, simply hit enter. Now I will simply drag this formula down and simply drag this formula till the end of the grid. Now our calculation are ready. We need to select the entire grid. I will click on H1, simply type control shift, right arrow key, control shift down arrow key, control backspace key to move to ectocell again. Click on recommended chart. Select all chart, simply select the radar chart, fill radar chart. In this case, we need to select the second layout and simply hit OK. 
Now we need to increase the height and width of this chart a little bit more. Click on the plus button. We don't need the chart title. We don't need the legend in this case. I think we don't need the category label for now. I'm going to click and simply hit delete key. You can see here x-axis. We don't need this one and simply hit delete this one as well. The next thing we need to add a pie chart over this radar chart. I will select my chart again. Click chart design. Here you can see select data. We need to add another series. I will rename this let's say pie. Simply remove everything in the series value. In this case I will select the sector weight column. Hit OK and simply hit OK. Now nothing appear. I will click change chart type. We need to select the combo chart now. And now I will manually change each and every series to a filled radar chart. Now for the last series, you can see we have a pie series. For this one, I will select the pie chart. Simply hit OK. Now again, it's showing the category label. Don't worry, simply click and hit delete key. Select the X axis as well and hit delete key. Now I will click on format. On the left side, you can see a drop down. Simply select the pie series. For the shape field, we need to select no field. And for the shape outline, I will select the dark black color. And for the outline size, we need to increase this a little bit more, let's say one point. Now, if I click outside my chart, this is how my chart look like. We need to do a little bit more formatting. I will click on my chart again, click on plus button. We need to apply the grid line. But on the grid line, you can see we have a secondary major horizontal. Simply check those one and now click plus button again. The last thing we need to increase the transparency of each and every color. I'm going to click on the color, right click format data series. Here you can see fill and lines. We need to click markers. Here you can see fills. We need to select the solid fill. Now you can see we have 0% transparency. Simply change this to let's say 70% hit enter. Now simply select another series, solid fill. In this case, we need to change the color to let's say blue. Increase the transparency to let's say 70% hit enter. Select another series, solid fill. Change the color. Increase the transparency. We need to do this tip for each and every series. The only thing we need to apply the data label. So I'm going to click on the chart, click on format again. We need to select the pie series for the data label. Click on plus button. We need to apply data label. Click more data label options. Value from sale. In this case, I will simply specify the chart labels. Simply hit OK. Scroll a little bit more, and here you can see outside end position. Now you can see we get actual value of sector, we get the category label. In this case, if you want a percentage of sector, simply select the percentage one and uncheck the value. The last thing, instead of showing only the category name, we need to display somehow the actual height of the value. So for this, I will edit my chart label. I will close this format data label, click on the chart labels column, simply type end percent. Corrector 10 function, which is just a line break and percent again. And now simply select the value column, hit enter and drag this formula down. This is how we can show the actual value, the category name, the percentage. I will click on the data label, increase the size a little bit more, select the dark black color, hit control B to make it bold. And this is how we create a dual pie chart.